Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. I have a slightly different setup today. Usually I film during the day, so I have the natural light here in front of me. And today I'm actually using a ring light, which I don't usually do. I have this little cheap one <laughs> with like different settings. Let me quick show you, this is funny. I think I look absolutely crazy in the yellow light. So this is like the, I don't know, the daylight one? No, no, this is the blue light one. Then there's this one. Anyway, <laughs> I have a set on this one. Hopefully this is the most natural looking. The hat is back because I am chilled. I, I'm really cold. After this, I'm gonna go drink some hot chocolate. This video is going to be my update for my budgeting plan that I've given myself for this year. This is in, I've decided, is just in regards to makeup purchases. So I'm not counting things like when I pick up a brush and I don't usually buy brushes for instance, but sometimes I need one. So I don't usually count things like tools or things like replacements for my skincare cleansers, things like that. This is just makeup. I've given myself a goal of spending at least le or less than $75 and it'd be even better if I could spend less than $50 per month. I also have kind of an unofficial goal that I've given for myself of not purchasing hardly any products. This not purchasing any hardly, but that isn't, is that right? I give myself a goal of purchasing very little products there. That, that sounds right as far as lip products go because because I want to use up so much this year. And even though I'm going to allow myself some blush buying this year, I also want to try and keep that to a minimum. And I'm trying not to pick up any palettes because I've been very much into singles lately. So I'm gonna try and really keep it low with the palettes. So far, I can say two months in, I'm doing really well with the palettes. I haven't bought any palettes and really well with the lip category. But this month, let's get started on the purchases. I did purchase a blush. So I went to TJ Maxx, which that is like my nemesis place. I know you guys know that if you've watched my channel. <laughs> But I just, I can't help it. So when I go in there though, I do have a rule for myself that I can't just frivolously pick things that I want to try. I get tempted a lot by different things when I go in there, but I'm pretty hard and stuck on the rule that I will not buy anything unless it was already on my list wish list. And so I did find a couple things that were already on my wish list. I was very pleased actually. I found another shade of the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush. This is the shade Blurred Buff. This one is interesting. It's not nearly as bouncy as my Mauve Sunrise shade. Also, this one has some shimmer, natural shimmer, not natural shimmer, it has some shimmer in it that my Mauve one doesn't. But I think it's actually kind of like a really pretty bronze shade, isn't it? <laughs> I am not usually wear bronzer. I like to wear I don't know, a neutral blush when I feel like I want that bronze to look. But anyway, I'm really excited to have this in my stash. I picked this up for $8.99. On that same TJ Maxx trip, I found two mini Laura Mercier caviar sticks, which I've been starting to get more into cream shadows. These are always mentioned in favorites videos, I feel like, for cream shadows. So I have the shades Au Natural, which is right there. And then I also have the shade Amethyst, which is right there. I feel like those are two, you know, very popular shades. Hence why it was in the little set that I picked up. But I thought that's on the clearance rack. So for these two little minis, it was $12. I thought that was a great deal. Like normally a full size of these, what is it, close to $30 for just one. So I thought it was a great way to get to try out the product. I also purchased the Wet n Wild. This wasn't a TJ Maxx. This was, where did I buy this? Target? I don't remember where I was, but this was from Wet n Wild. This is the Bare Focus tinted hydrator. This just came out not too long ago. I'm actually wearing it today and this I feel like isn't... I can't give my a review yet because this is the first time I've worn this and I didn't wear it all day. I just put it on for this video and at the moment I'm not you know, super pleased with how it looks but I also didn't really prep my skin <laughs> before this video. I just kind of wanted to throw something on my face. So I'll have to give this a proper test. I'll definitely let you guys know what I think. I picked up the shade Fair Pale. <laughs> Which, by the way, their shades are just odd. This, is, to me, does not look at all fair or pale. There, in this lighting, it doesn't look so bad. But I feel like when I just now applied it on my face, I felt like it looked pretty orange. So, eh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so those are the items I picked up and bought myself this month. This month. So it sounds like, just from that, that I'm doing really well. However... 
Um, it all depends on how you count the rest of the things <laughs> that I got this month. I did get Ipsy Glam Bag X, which just by itself is $55. And though I did want the majority of the box for myself, I did pick up the box partially because I wanted to use one of the items for a giveaway. So I don't know exactly how to count that, but if you count with the $55 for that and the $26 with the stuff I just mentioned, you know, that, that, it's over my $75 mark. Also, this would have been a FabFitFun month and I'm an annual member, so that means that I prepaid for it last year. When I saw the spoilers for the FabFitFun box, the spring one, I was not that into it. I was, I liked less than half of the box. So I decided to skip the box. So when that happens as an annual member, they give you a $45 credit that you can use either towards your renewal of your next like yearly thing or as a credit towards their add-on sales. And they don't always have things that I want in their add-on sales, but I feel like they either have really, really good add-on sales or, you know, cruddy ones. And this one I thought was pretty good. And I ended up getting some things using my credit on them. Um, they are not not here yet. Otherwise, I would totally show them to you. I got some Kaja things I was really excited about. But I, once again, I'm not sure how to count that because it's, this is technically stuff I already paid for last fall. But no matter which way you count it, I, yeah, I blew my, my budget. <laughs> but I'm still feeling pretty positive because I didn't purchase any lip products. I think one did come in my Ipsy box, but that wasn't something I, you know, picked out for myself. And I didn't buy any eyeshadow palettes and I've been doing pretty well so far and I haven't been super tempted yet. The only thing that really tempts me is whenever Sydney Grace does a restock of Mel Thompson's um, Tiny Marvels palette, every time they announce a restock of that, I get the itch to go buy it, but I've been able to resist so far. So I'm feeling pretty good about my purchases. These are all things that I really wanted to try. But considering that that Glam Bag X took up like my entire budget for the month, I don't know if I will get May's. It all depends, honestly, on the spoilers that are released. We'll see who is curating that particular bag. Spoiler alert, by the way, if you guys watch my pan on every palette, you guys know that I've been working on my Morphe palette and I shouldn't be telling you this because it's a spoiler, but I can't help it. I'm pretty excited. With this eye look, I hit pan in the shade I was working on this one. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Moving on. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this evening. I will see you soon in my next video. I think my next video will be the 80s Project Pan update. I still haven't really decided what look I'm going to do for that. I always like to do something a little fun. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye!